right, y'all. Y'all know what it is. How y'all doing today? Doing grand. I'm good. I'm good. Welcome to the Twin and Them Podcast. Oh, <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> Episode 2. How's everybody feeling? We're going to start with Zay. Zay, how are you? I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is a great weekend. I'm That's having good. a good time. It's your my... birthday weekend. Yeah, birthday weekend. My boy's yeah. going to be 20. Yeah, 20. No longer a teenager. Right. I'm... I can't wait to turn 21, though. That's when, that's when it's really going to be, like, the bee's knees. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because I know you finna go get a gun. <laughs> 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 oh, big iron on the hip. Big iron on the hip. This motherfucker going to be walking around like it's Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for that. I'm You're going to be even... a different person. You're going to be looking to start arguments. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I swear, I'm going to be cool as hell. Let somebody even look at him wrong. Hey. Pop, pop. <laughs> I, honestly, I just want a gun for protection in case, you know, somebody try to pull up with that shit. Like, when, when them boys pull up at that door, bro, if I had, bro, if I had a piece, I would have pulled out. Hey, what y'all doing over here? <laughs> Back up. <laughs> see what? You see this right here, right? I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. But for right now, you're 20. Are you enjoying your weekend? Oh, yes, most definitely. I finally have my concealable headphones because I had wire headphones for a fat minute. And while they're awesome, you know what I mean? It's hard to watch porn. No, it's, it's it's actually pretty cool to watch porn in your own house. But when you're trying to hide it from your, like, vulture of a boss, you know what I'm saying? It's really hard. These wires... You watch your porn at work? Whoa. You said hide subject. it from the... <laughs> I said listening to my music. I didn't even say listening to my music. Hide the headphones itself. Not All hide right. the fact... Who's watching porn at work? <laughs> I listen. You'd be surprised. <laughs> no. Uh, All right. You know what? You're right because I was in school and I saw and there's some kid watching porn <coughs> That's on, terrible. His, on his tablet. I'm sorry. Inside inside the bathroom stall. That's some gas, boy. Mm-hmm. But it is what it is. That's nasty. It is. Why? Well, listen. That's better than you can't wait till you get home. That's there's something wrong with you. I'll be completely honest here, and I'm going to uh, be very vulnerable. In the past, way way in the past, I'm talking about probably when I was like 18, 19. I have done that before at work at work yes <laughs> <laughs> listen nothing wrong with that listen, brother <laughs> listen it was a long week huh two weeks we ain't seen each other it was hard so you just went off I had to do to what work I had to do. and just Beat your thing. Why <laughs> <laughs> you say it like that? I'm sorry. It's listen, the way he said I was, it. I was young. It was a stupid thing to do, but listen, I, I, I had to do what I had to do. What if somebody came in and, hey, what are you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> Mind your business, man. Nah, it's, it's my business. Now you're in public. I, I mean, you're in does, a public restaurant. Does it really become your business if it's in public? <laughs> <laughs> if you hear somebody. <laughs> if you hear somebody on in in the nest stall next to you, imagine going in the bathroom, right, at work, and you just hear somebody in the stall next to you. Just, <laughs> like, what are you, you gonna say something, bro? What if he nut on your shoe, bro? <laughs> oh, no, nah, no, nah, that definitely becomes my business because I, I was affected by said thing he was doing. Nah, you're not gonna do that's that. Kind to of, me. that's that kind of was a fear of mine when I was doing that. Like, what if? You spook too what much? What if I spook too much and I can't fucking catch it? You know, fucking... What? <laughs> With, like... I, you're listen, not in good... <laughs> all right. Man, straight I, skunking I don't, it, I don't, I don't, I don't want... <laughs> I don't want my nut to hit the floor and then somebody slip on it, you know? Huh? <laughs> you can't control your spook? <laughs> you know, I can. I can. That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm saying that actions happen... Now, what if there's something I don't account for and uh-huh. something got on the floor? Fucking Jim Bob comes in and wants to take a shit. <laughs> he wants to take a shit. Fucking slips. And that's because of me. I affected this man. Now his back is gone. Oh, my God. With that, we're going to move on. How is your weekend going? My weekend is wonderful. Good. That's all I need you to say. We're going to move on to D's. 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 That's right, crazy. You. Okay. You good? You sound a little low today. What's going on? Mm-hmm. You on the taco body? Why <laughs> <laughs> you laughing, bro? I'm sorry. You're just so soft spoken. Just... Huh? 
<laughs> anyway, we're just gonna jump right into our first topic. We are talking about what would you do for a little bit of change? <laughs> would you do something strange? I know I would. Change? It's fame. It's fame? It's yeah. fame. I thought we were talking about money. I feel like money and fame go hand in hand. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> a, like, fame, fame does bring money, yes. However, fame is something that you... It's like, it's like, it's like a, a, a resource at that point. You need, you need fame to continue to bring that money in. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if, you're, if you're dead as an artist, dead as a singer, dead as a comedian, if your shit is dead, mm-hmm. niggas not looking at that no uh-huh. more. The money slow up. <laughs> Look a little pump. Oh, ain't nobody talking about little pump anymore. That's tough. Why you had to come for that man? Uh, he probably somewhere writing. He is, and, and when he come out with that hit and he famous again, he'll get that money. Till then, he dead. Not like dead, dead, but like his, you know. You know yeah, y'all know the slang. No, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and like ex- excuse the word language. I, y'all know the slang. Yeah. That man, that man, music is dead right now, bro. Oh damn. Hibernation. Yeah. What you're doing. I hope so. Because <laughs> eventually, you know, the money slow up. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you went to, like, a local fucking, like, Aldi or, or fucking food line and you seen a little pump fucking bagging groceries? <laughs> what? I'd be like, shit. Well, you know, J-, J. Cole, he, he called it. He called it. Damn. Because, listen, the things that made you famous back then. He need to do an OnlyFans. It'll stay relevant. Hey, okay. <laughs> you know, who else did that? Somebody else made a sex tape or was like a, being a, trying to be a porn star for a minute. I think it was, a, it was that dude. He used to steal shit from people. Huh? Boo gang. Boo gang. Yeah. You try porn? Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's did porn. <clears throat> Nobody gave a fuck, though. We were, we're there for the girl. We're not there for you. Dang. That's Can I be honest with you? That is what it is, bro. If Kim Kardashian... Okay. Whose OnlyFans do you think me be more popular? Kanye West's or Kim Kardashian's? Him, because people want to see that pussy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not trying to see Kanye West throwing it on whoever I the mean, fuck some women go, I mean, listen, he's going to get views. Yeah, But course. he's just not going to get as many views as her. Kim Kardashian, exactly. Because, like it or not, we trying to see what, if that thing be thing. Right. <laughs> you know, we don't want to see fucking, we don't want to see fucking Kanye's goddamn. I'd go to Kanye's OnlyFans. after, but. Who's is gonna pop first? It's gonna be Kim. We gonna pop more. That it's too. Be Kim. <clears throat> but I, you know what I'm saying? I'd go over there and see Kanye's thing in life. I feel like I feel like Kanye shit gonna be mad weird. Like he gonna have like a Squid Game mask and the room gonna have strobe lights. <laughs> <laughs> his wow. dingo got a hat on it. <laughs> he got a fuck. It's playing his whole album. <laughs> Bro. That man is into himself. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. We need that confidence more in this, yeah. in this era. We need Kanye, man. He keeps he, he keeps things interesting. Right. Yeah. Him and 6 9 <coughs> Yep. Man, listen. We're derailing. We're derailing. We are derailing. Okay, Zay, bring us back. Okay, <laughs> yes. What would you do for fame? You know what I'm saying? Me, personally? I mean, like... I, I do just... OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> I put myself on the hub, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Mm-hmm. We all have goals in this life, okay? Yes. Goal could be to become a doctor because you loved helping people, or goals can be I want a lot of money so I can live comfortably. If an OnlyFans was gonna give me bukus of money so I can live comfortably, I do it. With that, I need fame. So. <coughs> I show my titties, I be on the hub. I be like, scroll past me, kids. Scroll past me. <laughs> scroll past me, kids. Mm. I mean, at least you're upfront the about it. They caught it in his ass. You don't be on the hub? No, bro. Where you go when you watch porn, real quick? <laughs> XX videos. Listen, XX videos be getting it. XN, XX, that's what's really popular. Yeah, right Talk about you. fame, titties, right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But, like, you know, sometimes you gotta. You got to suck a couple dicks to get to the top. And you know what? Be prepared to do that. It's not wrong with that, though. But it's what I'm saying. Like, there are people out there who be like, nah, I would never go that far for fame. It, it is nece- You don't necessarily have to be sucking dicks. People use that as, like, an analogy. It's like, oh, you sucking dicks for fame. You, you could be sacrificing a lot of shit for fame. Right. Sacrificing friends, family. and not, not actually on some Illuminati sacrifice and shit like 
to the point where you don't talk to them no more. You drop them right out of your life because of the shit that you're into this for the reach of that status, that clout, the, the, what comes with it. Right. <clears throat> because yeah. you, you have to do certain things to get certain things. Right. What are you willing to do? Right. Are you willing to work so hard you barely get any sleep and you drop that at a tour or some Michael Jackson shit? Are you, are you willing to... You know, do a couple strange things under the table <laughs> to Listen, get that deal. <laughs> if I was single, okay, mm-hmm. and I was working, say, I don't know, under Birdman, and I was like, <laughs> there's only one way I'm going to get to the top. Right. It's to suck that Birdman down. <laughs> well, tweet, tweet, motherfucker, because I'm on my knees, okay? And I'm pecking for seed. <laughs> Jesus. Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. Full blown eye contact. You remember that that lady from from Wu Tang who played the 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 the, the, uh, the, the Dep Jam lady? Yeah, yeah. She you you obviously seen that she was trying to fuck them. Yes, she was, and I would have. Uh, yes, because I'd with that my dong and been right there, that would have just opened the door, and I had no work, no nothing. All I had to do was. You know, what I do best. You know, slang that dog. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with that. What are you willing to do for fame? I think that depends on your moral level. Yeah. Like, right. what are you comfortable with? What are you comfortable with? It also depends on the situation. Yes. Because it depends, you know. So, if I look at it and I see some monkey pox on that dog, I'm done. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm looking for lumps. That's what I'm doing. Speaking of lumps, uh, we went out on a little, you know, excursion of the weekend, and Zay was finna get him some bootay, but all this thing's going around. I don't know if he would have got in it. Would you have slid in them cheeks? That night? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know unless I'm put back in that situation. There's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> you want to explain I had that? Like, I had hit, like, nine shots of whatever. It was different shit. Like, first it was Bacardi. Behind my mama <coughs> with the uh, pineapple had like Gas. two, three of those, and that's done. So then I put tequila and cranberry together. Good, that's great. Right afterwards, so I'm just mixing liquor. <clears throat> then after that, I had what else was it? Uh, vodka and cranberry. Goodness, that bartender man killing it. Yeah, she, she was, was killing it. She, she was really doing good. her goddamn thing, bro. But it was just like nine shots of stuff. It was music going on. Then I performed. I'm tired as hell. I'm sweating. You tell me. Right. But say you would have went home with her, right? Mm-hmm. And she like she doing it. She finna do the damn thing. Like she take off her clothes, show it bad. You feel me? But you think you see a monkey pop? This right there on her thigh. This one, just little bump. This one little. I'm out of there. You wouldn't pre- continue. Maybe what? No. Why would you, bro? I might have gotten it just by you touching me. What would you say? I mean, you already gonna get it then. Would, would you still dive in? What do you mean I'm already gonna get it? I go home and wash up real quick. I'll be good. You think? What? Yeah. Oh no, I'm not gonna continue to what? Once you're exposed, <clears throat> that's another thing. Once you're exposed, it's over. Like this, this is not like COVID. This is not like oh okay, if I could just dub and dodge and keep my immune system up, I should be straight. There's a chance I won't get it. Two days go by for the gestation period. You're good. You're like, all right, I'm not going to get sick. Monkey pots, if she touch you, you're done. <laughs> so I've already gotten it. Yeah. Would you still slide? No. I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm thinking about getting myself together. You just gave me <clears throat> monkey pox. You know what this is? This oh, is the good. fucking cooties. <laughs> it is the cooties. <laughs> this is the cooties. Don't touch me. Ace. <laughs> AIDS. Oh, AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see how they're 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 aiming it towards the LGBT. LGBTQ. And then a female got it. Exactly. And then they switched up talking about y'all. Just be careful out there. Huh? It's we don't we don't know where it's coming from. Right. We and don't know what it's doing. I like how in the CDC or like if you look it up, they they say be careful, especially men who are having sex. Yes. Like with other men. Why especially them, bro? Like, <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying Listen, to say? Here? As a person part of the LGBT community myself, I feel like I'm a lot of shaders. Why? Why are you targeting my fe- fellow fabulous people? Like, what's happening right now? <laughs> what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Why are you going at gay men directly? Why was that necessary in that comment? <laughs> 
Like, what are you trying to say? What do you mean by that? That's terrible. That's I don't understand. Shit. I don't understand it myself, but I just know that I try to be as safe as I possibly can. When I'm at work, I'll put on these Teflon sleeves like my life depended on it. <laughs> <laughs> Gloves stay on. Yeah. Not only do the gloves stay on, I, I, I hand sanding every time I use that clock out because it's basically, like Chris said, putting your finger in another man's mouth because we're all using the same fingerprint. Everybody got this bare hand touching it. <coughs> yep. Yes. You just got to hope. Why? Joe need to shut us down. But he say, he, say, he doesn't think it's that serious. So he's just like... Joe, you're not out here. Okay? <laughs> Joe. Shut us down. <laughs> Shut us down. He's Girl. in D.C. in this nice, big, beautiful thing called the White House. <laughs> with his beauty, Safe. With his children and his wife having a good old time just jamming about. <laughs> Being in the vice president. <laughs> well, we out here getting monkey <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think this is... I think this is so much worse. Because, just like you said, this is not like COVID. This is not like something... If you think you got it, you can prepare for it and, like, negate it. This mm-hmm. is, if I touch you, tag, nigga, you're it. Right. <laughs> That's it. And now I got wow. it. Now I'm over here looking like I got the mumps with these nasty-ass boils. As long as you don't touch the infected area, let me make that specifically clear. Like, if I see a lump on Chris's hand and I touch that lump or sore or cut or whatever, I am exposed. <clears throat> if he's sweating and whatnot and whatever... And to get in my orifice, to get in my orifice is done. But uh, you know, just keep that hand sandy on you is all I can say. And hope that you don't touch a lesion or a slice in the the hands. <laughs> okay, so it, oh, bodily juices as well. Like so, if you, you it's over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You stick your your thing in her thing, it's you done. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, gas pumps. You can get it. You go into hotels. They don't wash them covers. You can get it. <coughs> it's just, it's terrible. So it's like, if it gets in, you can get in your eyes. It can get in, what's the thing called? <laughs> your pee hole. You can get in your pee hole. So if I take a piss, I'm just screaming for their life? Yeah. <laughs> There's really not a whole lot they can do for you either. And it's painful. You got two to four months of that. You could heal a little bit earlier. Or you can, you know. All the way up until in four months. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's terrible. <clears throat> yep. So, but he says, yet he says, I don't think it's as so serious <laughs> it's not, yeah, he thinks as it's fine. COVID. But you know what's so crazy? It's spreading faster than COVID did. <clears throat> it yeah, is. that joke got down here quick. Mm-hmm. We heard about it, boom, right in our front door. Yes. Do you know what this monkey? You know what this monkey pox remind me of? Mm-hmm. Nazis. <laughs> they pull up so quick. <laughs> Say we're coming to get you. All right. <laughs> the next day they're at your fucking door. Knock, knock, knock. And this is exactly what monkey pox did. Listen. Pulled up. And it's not a whole lot to be done. And I'm sorry. This vaccine. Listen. They said the vaccine been out for monkey pox since 2019. <coughs> I'm good. I'm straight on that. Just like when the COVID-19 um, freaking vaccine dropped, I was like, y'all can't even get the flu together. Y'all really expect me to just come over here and get stuck by whatever you just came up with the, in the lab? And I'm good on all that. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm scared. You know Shut us crazy? down, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I did some research. It said, apparently it said monkeypox has been around longer, but it was in Africa at first. It was there for mad long, like before we were born type shit and now it's just spread right but see imagine all the other diseases out there that we don't know in the places that we think is cool to visit Mm -hmm. and now and just just because people some of my people will go over there and come back with it right i don't want to go travel (laughs) i'm scared no i told y'all i stay in the house i don't even grocery shop like that no more i didn't step foot in one store today not one i went I went on the ride, but I didn't go in. I know no damn well. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah. I bought that hand sanity. Yeah. Listen, y'all, if y'all need to make some hand sanitizers, at this point, I'm just going to douse my hands in alcohol. <laughs> yeah. But what does that do? It, 
Come, but I'm gonna be honest with you. This whole monkey pot thing, people are gonna be scared to hear this. But if you gonna get it, you just gonna get it. I mean, I can't handle that. My tryptophobia won't allow me to handle that. I'm gonna be in the dark somewhere under a cover, just screaming and hollering. Chicken for dear life. I'm telling you, can't look at myself. Hope hope y'all don't get it. Can't look at y'all. I'm gonna be over here like, how y'all doing today? I'm gonna cover my face. I'm not even gonna be out here. I'm gonna be in the room somewhere in the dark. You're not gonna see me for them two or four months. <laughs> I'm hiding. And it's like an immediate thing too. Yeah, and they say it's so painful. <coughs> the dude was explaining it. He was like, it's like sitting on shards of glass. Mm. I'm like, what? And he's like, imagine that all over your body. Like, I can't even imagine that source of pain. Like, what? No. I'm good. Mm-mm. And that's why I'm so afraid to have it, because I know that where I work, I'm around people all day. Right. You know, somebody just spit on my goddamn lip at work, talking to me, and I'm like six feet away. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, that's like I'm, I'm around people who sweat all day. Because I'm in a sweatshop, mind you. We don't have fans and ACs. And if the AC's on, it ain't doing that much work. It's all the way at the top of the ceiling. <clears throat> that's it. For that's that whole say, department. I'm not scared for me, personally. I'm, like, I'm scared for y'all. But see, I'm scared for y'all, too, because if we get it, we come home and we bring it to we could bring it here. Even if I quarantine you, it's gonna be very, very hard for the rest of us not to get it. Mm-hmm. It's not like COVID. Like again, it's not the flu. Right. <clears throat> I mean it shows flu like symptoms as well. But if you sit on the toilet seat, you're you're sharing the same bathroom as your sister. So she gonna go sit on the toilet seat, boom. I so I have to bleach shit down, I gotta disinfect. Then half of people don't really know how to disinfect. Anyway, I just learned the proper way of disinfecting. Apparently, the surface is supposed to be wet. Then you're supposed to buy something that is a disinfecting, whatever it says, disinfecting. Then it got to sit there for 5 to 15 minutes. I've been disinfecting wrong my whole entire life. At this mm-hmm. point, just burn, burn it. <laughs> burn it. Don't clean it. Burn it. What I'm finna do, you know, get some latex gloves and just wear the gloves when I go out. You don't even have much of a choice at this point. Cause it's spreading so fast. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, yeah. Please get it for all of us when we go outside. Let me get the big box. And I, I understand about suffocating, but that girl spitting on me, I need to wear a mask. I mean, it's getting to the point now. Yeah, you might have to pull it back out. Yeah. Cause I mean, people spitting on you. I mean, <laughs> that's not funny. When you came home and told me that, I was like, now nah, we wait to see, like. We don't know. We don't know. What, like the dude that was in New York on the, the train. Why are you in the subway chilling with this full-blown monkeypox? It's full-blown. Why are you just... And people letting you stand there, too. I'm getting off. <laughs> and calling the police. <clears throat> is is the monkeypox already in New York? Mm-hmm. I, I believe yes. so. That sh- those that sh- was one of the first places to, to see the shit. That shit finna spread like wildfire. It's always the major cities. Right. Yeah. That's why I never want to be in one. Yeah. Not, I never want to be specifically in a major city. That's it. Hands down, that's where the shit pop off. What if it turns into a zombie? That's not funny. <laughs> that, is not, that is not funny. That's not but, funny. But if, 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 if you see motherfuckers out here fucking turning into clickers. I'm not going outside no more. I'm staying in the house. Fuck a bill. <laughs> you gonna have to snatch me out this motherfucker, and you better hope you better bring something big in. Listen, so you gotta. Shoot. It's gonna snatch you first. <clears throat> I'm what? Yeah. I, I can, see. I don't know how well I'm gonna do in a zombie apocalypse situation. That and and aliens. I'm. I don't know how I'm gonna take that, bro. I'm gonna need. We need. We need to find the toolie. <laughs> <laughs> we, that's what I'm you, when I turn twenty one, is when I get in my gun. I'm telling you, Bars. I'm getting the long rifle, I'm getting the small, I'm getting the pistol, I'm getting the shotgun, I'm getting everything. <laughs> I'm done. I can't. I'm, I'm scared. Tell, what? Don't be, it's for us, because listen, when shit goes, like, you seen Walking Dead, when shit goes down, <sighs> we need to be prepared. You're right. Because they're telling, they're telling people to get a, a go bag. It's everywhere. They told California, Texas, and New York. 
in case of uh, uh, <clears throat> a nuclear blast, what to do. They got this weird little commercial that they, I guess they think is cute. That that shit is quite condescending. <laughs> and then, what, why are you looking like that? What? You scared? You trying to... FBI's coming. Close blinds, y'all. I've said too much. <laughs> <laughs> if they're coming for me, they're coming for you. <laughs> Listen, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's public knowledge, though. It's all over TikTok. They're telling people to get a to-go bag. I just, you know. And yeah, it's a, it's a PSA. <sighs> Ready up, guys. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. But some shit... Hit the fan, <laughs> but don't worry. That's why we're here. You know, we bring the joy and the funny, but the truth as well. I like to call it comedy advice. Yes, comedy advice. If I was you, <laughs> get off of me. I'm not doing this with you. If I was you, I would get you to go back. Um, I get some flashlights. Not the flashlights. Get some walkie talkies. Um, get a radio and learn day to day things like you would need to know back in the day how to filtrate your water, you know what I'm saying? How to make a fire, you know, how to tell north from south and where you're going, how to read a map, and just stay ready. You feel me? Because I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen, I'm just gonna say if you re- you ready, you won't have to worry about it. You're not ready, you're gonna be scared. But let's just be honest with ourselves. Whether you're ready or whether you're not, <clears throat> you still have to prepare even in the moment. Because all that readiness can be gone can with that. the moment. <laughs> you can say that out loud. And when it is, you're going to have to think on your toes. So, uh, you know what I mean? Get to thinking and get to thinking hard. What would tell you? Because if you're not ready, you're going to have to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with this monkey pox. Y'all, y'all playing these games, trying to go to these clubs. I'll hit clubbing and doing their thing. Listen, if you got something planned for this weekend, I just ask that you stay gloved up. But uh, if you can quarantine, do so as much as you can. Yeah. Because you're going to wish you had when you look at your daughter that you sent to school and she got monkey pox. Close us down, Joe. <laughs> Please, Please. give us a stimmy. I'm That's telling exactly you, give me unemployment again. That was oh, good yeah, times. That was, bro. that was great. That was good times. That was great. That was that P-E-B-T, baby. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, such a good time. But anyway, y'all, that's been the Twinning Them Podcast with Zay, Shane, Thug Baby. Yes, my own. And yours truly, the Chelsea Dream. We out of here.